Okay, so I don't know where to begin, but believe me, I don't know anything. I'm just going to throw out a perspective. Now, the pyramid is made of a lot of quartz and limestone. Quartz has piezoelectric properties and glow in accordance with sound resonance. And this is a resonance chamber, the void. And the Ark of the Covenant was a hot circuit, and it completed. It was hot until it was grounded into the sarcophagus, and that completed the circuit. And this is why you couldn't touch it, because it was a live circuit. And it had a nuclear arc of plasma right here. Now let's say it's a thermoelectric transistor or capacitor made of P-type, lithium, N-type, fluorine or fluorite material. And you use gold for the conductance and catalytic effect, radium for the nuclear energy, and the carbon for insulation. So on this, the electrode and anode, the anode and the cathode are up here. And the heat dissipation is the sarcophagus and a fluid inside it. And you have radium in here for nuclear energy. So you essentially have a nuclear capacitor using solid state physics, which is exactly what transistors are. And we also use quartz inside watches because of this piezoelectric effect. Now you have alpha decay, which is your nuclear energy, and your beta decay, which is your electrical. So you have your nuclear, alpha draconis, Y, and your beta, or some minor, electrical. I believe they're trying to tell us something with these. I'm still trying to work out on a talk, which is actually 6.0 magnitude, and the dog star, Sirius A and B, which is 6.45, 6.45, 6.45, right ascension, which is 6 and 9, technically. Also, if the Ark of the Covenant was opened 1,600 years later, this would have been a poisonous gas. Radon undergoes radioactive decay when it releases ionizing radiation. Radon is a colorless, odorless gas, a radioactive byproduct of radium. So they would have broke out in boils. So you have a radioisotope thermoelectric generator with an open arc, like a spark plug. Literally a flux capacitor, 88 miles per hour, radium. Ha ha. With a hot and a cold, which is a nuclear and electric. And the hot and the cold. And water came and cooled these two right here at the bottom here. And being... A gas discharge lamp also, because this is, imagine the king's chamber, and this is the arc here. And this is a plasma arc underwater. And since they basically look like a giant motherboard, this being the main transistor, they don't have a lot of voltage, but they have a lot of amperage due to their sheer size of the giant transistors. The CPU, the north bridge, and the south bridge processors, it's essentially like a giant transistor thermocouple. And this is the hot, which is inside the king's chamber and the cold for the queens. Pyramid socket 9131.